hi guys welcome to this video so in this video we will see a tutorial like an overview on the boundary blend tool here okay so let's get started so first of all let's click on new and uh, no name is required for this so i'm just going to search the unit as mmn spot solid abs okay so first of all what is boundary blend like boundary blend is like uh, you can create your 2d sketches like uh, on some direction points and you can convert the sketch into a 3d curve or 3d parts okay so let me um explain you by creating that part okay so if i tell it by words you can't able to understand that so first of all for the boundary blend i'm just going to create some sketch for that okay so first of all let me select the front plane sketch so here i'm just going to draw a line okay so dimension is not required right now but i'm just uh, like uh, adding for my own reference okay so this is the first sketch that i have created as a state line on the front plane you can see here okay so this is the first sketch okay so for the boundary blend you can create sketches on the two direction okay so the first one is like you can see the coordinate system here right so either you can draw your sketches on the single direction so you can't able to draw this on all three three direction and you can't able to merge this as a boundary blend so if you are going to create a curvature here so you can split that into three parts okay or else you can any number of parts that's fine okay for an example if you are going to create a curvature here you can split that into three and you can um create a sketch on these three planes okay so uh, let me take an example okay so i'm just going to create a curve like this okay so the first point anyway it will be starting from the base point okay so this this will be the base so on the mid mid of this curve i'm just going to create one more plane here okay so on this direction so this would be called as mid so at the distance of 400 so here i'm just going to sketch how my curve need to be projected on the midline okay so um here i'm just going to draw a spline okay okay like this okay so this is how i need my curve to be on the mid midline here okay so this is my mid view so at the so you can say this is as a start so this will be the mid and on the end how it need to be shown so the same let me create a new plane go for the sketch and on the end i i want my curve to be uh, as a simple arc like this okay so this is a three curve that i have created for my surface okay so you can turn this into a curve by using the boundary blend okay so let's see how it is so this is a single direction you can see we just have created sketch on the z direction on only z direction okay so first on the direction of z we just have created second sketch and this is our third sketch okay so let's go for the boundary blend so first of all you can see here on the settings you can see the first direction and the second direction okay so we just have only one direction here so that will be the z direction okay so we don't want to go for the second direction here we can directly it will be like a default like even if you have uh, done the sketch on the x direction it will be show as a first direction okay if you are going to add one more thing on the um second like as a second direction if you have created one more sketch on the x direction so that will be called as a second direction okay so like uh, don't confuse yourself first of all create a sketches on the first direction and you can select the first sketch here control key like hold your control key and select the second sketch and now you can see a surface has been created from the like between the first and second like you can see this is got aligned with the sketch that we have created okay so next for the third surface same hold the control key and select the third curve okay you can see here the surface has been created by the sketch that we have done okay so for the first sketch we have done a plain line and for the mid you can see here so this is the sketch that we have created and you can see the surface has been created on the same like dimensions so on the third sketch here you can see here like this surface is, has been created 
like the same that we have created as a sketch okay so this is how the first direction boundary blend will work so this is like the common blend tool that we have used um, before right so let me go for the direction 2 and uh, we can merge like both the direction like first direction and second direction we are going to merge and convert as like a single curve okay so uh, for that I'm just going to sketch here um, okay so uh, I'm just going to draw a line from here till here okay so this is my first curve on the second direction so what is the second direction here so the x direction will be the second direction from here here and here okay so then the second sketch here is on the x direction so i'm just going to sketch here okay so this will be like the mid uh, mid view of the uh, second direction okay so here i'm just going to create a spline like this and anyway it will going to be handy okay so this is my second sketch and for the third direction like the sorry the second direction sketch on the z axis i'm just going to create one more line here like a straight line okay up to this up to this reference okay so it will be like similar to the style tool but style tool is a little bit uh, different you can watch my video if you if you have no idea on the style tool you can watch my watch our video i just have posted a video on the style tool tutorial you can find it on the playlist okay for the beginner tutorial okay so we just have created two direction sketches so this would be the first direction like one two and three and on the second direction just now we have created like one this curve and this line okay so this is the thing that we are going to create it as a curve okay so for the boundary blend i am just going to select the new sketch that we have created and you can see the curvature has been created and now you can see like for your understanding like you will take this as a direction to as a second direction but here you can see like it, it will be the default for the first curve that you are selecting that will be considered as a first direction okay so for the second direction after selecting all the curves on your first direction directly just click on here okay once you have uh, your select items here you can select your second direction curves so that will be the easy direction curves so the first line and this curve okay and then this curve okay so now you guys have understood what is the blend tool here okay so um i think you can see clearly here what is the exact thing here so you can see um on this curve this part has been attached like this curve feature and also on this curve you can see the height has been adjusted according to this curve so on the end you can see the curvature it will be the same okay so everything that has been created by our own sketches okay so all the sketches is combined together and has been created as a curve okay so and let's see what are all the tools that we are going to use on the boundary blend so the first thing that most of the things like most of them will use like there is only chain one chain two and chain three you can see a chain one chain two and chain three but if you have too many chains like if you are going to join more than 10 to 12 sketches so it will be like confusing right which is which will be the chain one which will be the chain two even though if you have numbers on the top of the sketch like one two and three like it will be difficult like you have to select everything uh, as a like a, in ascending or descending manners right so so what are all the tools available on the first direction so this is the first direction you can see one two and three okay so this will be like um changing the order of this chains okay so for our view this will be one and two and three so what if i am just going to switch this three on the two okay no surface can be created like from the one to the two it can't be go there okay so um let's go for the second direction here let me show you so chain one chain two and chain three okay i'm just going to bring chain three on the top okay so here also you can see there is nothing changed here because we just have used two direction sketches here okay so let me show you wait let's go for the boundary plant and uh, 
it's i just explained you on the single direction that will be very easy okay so this is the curve that we have done so once you go for the curves i am just going to switch the third curve on the second here and then you can see here so from the chain 1 the curve has been transferred to the chain 2 and from the chain 2 it will be going to the chain 3 okay so this is how you can use this order so once if you are going to practice with this boundary blend i request you guys to create more than 5 to 6 sketches okay so that it will be easy for you to or like more than 3 sketches so that will be easy for you to um, like explore all the tools which are like which will be used here okay so the next thing is constraints so constraints it will be the same as a style tool either you can create this like uh, once you can hold your mouse right button on this point you can see free tangent normal and curve etc you can change this as a normal or uh, anything based on your constraints okay so or else you can select this curve etc here and you can see it is tangent you can also edit this as a free or something here okay so that is how this constraints will work okay so um yep so that's all and let me create this as a full curve here okay so this is the thing that we have created right as a second direction like combining one and two okay so what doubts like you guys will have apart from this is like uh, you can have this sketches view you can directly select the sketch and you can hide it by yourself okay and uh, yeah one more thing is like you like most of them will know like this is a surface part right so this is not a solid so how you can turn this part into a solid because uh, for the most of the things the boundary blend will be used for creating like a solid parts right okay so for that directly select this entire boundary blend like select this entire boundary blend directly go for the thicken and once you go for the thickener you can see that your part has been become as yellow color so that will be considered as that like this is a solid part okay so for this thickness you can adjust the value by yourself and here you can see like like this will be like extrude thing like a uh, single sided or double sided like that's like okay so this is the sketch you can see the green surface here so once you click here this will be opposite side and this will be the mid plane here okay and that's all so like this will be very easy and like once you click on okay you can see that by using the boundary blend we just have created a surface by using our 2d sketches okay so this is how you can use this boundary blend tool and uh, i think one more uh, comment that i have uh, received uh, on the tutorial is like for creating this uh, table fan blade by using this boundary blend okay so i will upload that video by tomorrow okay so thank you guys um, so thanks for watching and if you want more video fitted mechanical engineering or any other content you can comment below so that i will upload more and more videos based on that okay so thank you guys we will see in the next video with a very very interesting content until then bye